Hi everyone, it's Rachel from Sugar Maple Farmhouse and today I'm going to introduce you to our donkeys. So before we get started, a few things, or one big thing. Last time I did a video on the donkeys, we had three donkeys, the little boys, and Naomi, and then we also had my cousin's horse. My cousin sold her horse a few months after she came here, and then I went looking for another friend for Naomi because I thought she needed just female companionship. <laughs> So I went looking for another female donkey and that's how we ended up with another two donkeys that I got from a rescue down south and they are Atlas and Luna. So one male, one female, but our little herd here is pretty good together. They enjoy each other most of the time um, and everybody, I don't know, it's, they're just a little happy herd now. So. We have five donkeys here on the farm. They are wondering what I'm doing right now. Uh, we have three boys, we have two girls. The boys are gelded, if you don't know what that means, that means we castrated them so they can no longer have babies. Um, and there is a reason we did that. We don't actually want to breed our donkeys here. Um, we are happy with the donkeys we have and now having rescues, um, I just feel like if we get more animals, I would want to rescue them versus actually going and getting, having more babies. So there's plenty of animals in rescue that I just feel like could use a good home too and I can provide that. All right, so here's everybody this evening. The boys are getting a little rowdy with each other. Uh, those are the three boys there, that's Naomi. And then this is Luna with her little hole. Uh, the boys most of the time will get along. Like I said, they are gelded. Um, and they're gelded so that we could have everybody together. I really kind of wanted that aside from the whole not having, not having babies thing. I really wanted everybody to be able to be together and function as a herd. So even before we got our rescues, I had planned on gelding Cosmo. This is Cosmo and Leo. So these two are my baby boys. So uh, Leo is the baby of the group. He is going to turn three here the first week of September. Cosmo is the next youngest and he's going to turn three the last week of August. Do you know I'm talking about you? They're like, why are you over here? It's, it's not time for you to be over here. It's almost bedtime. Anyway, so my boys are about to turn three and they are the youngest. They are also half brothers. This next to them is Atlas. Atlas is not related to them. He's one of the rescues and he and Leo tend to do this. They fight a little bit. They play. Um, Cosmo could care less about any of that. Atlas is actually the alpha, although I realize it doesn't look like he's the alpha right now but he is the alpha. Leo wants to be the alpha, but it just hasn't happened yet. So sometimes the two of them will get into it, even though they're gelded, they're still boys and they still, you know, like to have their territory. Although I will say most of the time, my boys get along really, really well. I, you just want all the pets, don't you? I know, I know. Um, so the boys will function as kind of a mini herd within the herd. They do a good job of protecting the girls. Everybody is really fired up right now. They do a good job of protecting my girls. Um, and they will go to greet people earlier than the girls will. will. The, the mares, Luna and Naomi, are really pretty standoffish, especially with strangers. Um, the boys are much, much more friendly. Right, Kazi? Kazi, are you the friendliest guy? I know you are. I know. Uh, so last time we did a donkey video, people were commenting on how fat everybody was. Uh, here's the thing. My vet says they're fine. I'm going to go with they're fine. I'm sorry if you think they're fat. I'm just... They're happy. They are not work donkeys. They're pets. They're here to live a good life. And um, I'm... I'm just wanting them to live a good life and the vet is fine with their weights. So 
aside from that, gosh, everybody is riled up tonight. I think I've really thrown them off today. All right, so Cosmo and Leo are my babies. They are definitely the most friendly. I have had them both since they were three months old. They have grown quite a bit <laughs> and are now these big boys. Um, like I said, Atlas is one of our rescues. And then Luna is our other rescue. Naomi over there and back, she actually came with the boys. She is actually Leo's mom. So both Naomi and Luna have had babies before. They don't use this water tank. Their water tank's over here. Um, both Naomi and Luna have had babies before. I don't actually know how many babies Luna has had because she is a rescue, like I said. She's usually the most standoffish just because she, um, we think she was either feral or she was abused. So I'm actually kind of surprised she's letting me be so close to her right off the bat here. And boys are really fighting hard tonight. They don't usually do this. I don't know if this is about me being in here right now or what, but this is not normal for a normal everyday thing. Um, anyway, so Luna is really standoffish. She was more than likely feral or abused. She likes my son the most um, out of everybody. She, she tends to like littler creatures. She actually loves our cat, whereas everybody else hates our cat. <laughs> um, they do not want him in the pen with them at all. Donkeys are notoriously territorial, which is why you'll sometimes see a donkey in with other animals in the herd, uh, horses, because if there is a predator like a coyote or something like that, they will actually go after the coyote and attempt to kill it uh, by raising up on their back legs and striking it in the head with their front legs. Okay, so Luna, Naomi. Naomi belonged to our breeder. She's had quite a lot of babies. Um, she's a She's more comfortable with people than not, although sometimes it's just not. She is still very particular. Um, if she wants love, she usually will come over to me and I will give it to her. But most of the time, she's better about keeping her distance. Um, she and Luna are now bonded, so they hang out together. Um, you can see their bodies. Like I know you guys are going to say they're fat, but the vet is like, look, after they've had a couple babies, their bodies just kind of redistribute things, which I can totally understand because I've had a couple babies and my body did that too. Um, so this is Naomi. She came to us. She was about seven or eight when she came to us. So we've had her almost three years. Oh, are you going to come for love now too? You think you want the love. Um, so we've had her almost three years now too. She came with the boys and I'm just so kind of glad that we have her because she is like a grounding force. Her and Luna are like the calming force on my rowdy boys who are now done fighting, it seems. Um, so they hang out together. They will not tolerate the boys. And um, yeah, they just get to chill together and they always, they're always together. Uh, Luna, like I was saying, she is a rescue, so she was either feral or abused. Also, over the boys at the moment, she usually does not come by for love. Um, she's better if you crouch down, and um, so sometimes she'll come over for that. Hi, Naomi. But she's usually not going to head over to me. She, I don't know if you've noticed, but her back legs do turn out a little bit. So um, I'm assuming she was born that way and nothing was ever corrected. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I stop petting you? Nothing was ever corrected. So that's how she is. The vet says she walks fine. So um, the farrier is out every six weeks and the farrier takes care of you know, all of their issues. And she says her back legs are functioning fine too. Um, it is the middle of summer. So we have been using SWAT on all their legs. Are you going to come over and see me? We've been using SWAT on all their legs this season, which if you don't know what SWAT is, it is like a paste that goes on their legs. Um, I've run out of it and all of our stores are out of it. So 
they get fly spray every single day and they usually get swat every single day on their legs, in particular Naomi, because they seem to go after her really, really badly. Luna seems a little better with that, right? You're a little better? Um, but because of the way her back legs are, she tends to poop all over her legs all the time in back there. Shockingly, the flies seem to leave her alone because of that. I don't know what that's all about. Although it does look like she has some spots on the front of her leg that I have to go get some stuff and take care of. Did you want to come over for pets? Do you want to come over for pets? Uh, so when we got Luna and Atlas, I will say that um, we had Luna um, ultrasound right away because she came from obviously a kill pen and we were like, hey, we don't know if she's pregnant. The ultrasound that they did on her did not show that she was pregnant when we got her in April of that year, which was April of 2021. Uh, however, she was pregnant. So we did not know until then December when I was like, hey, it doesn't look like she's gone into heat. <laughs> and um, Naomi had gone into heat. And oh, she's she's got nervous poops. Sorry. She tends to do that. Um, so Naomi had gone into heat. Luna hadn't gone into heat. Um, it turns out she was pregnant. We found out in December. And she had the baby in January on the coldest day of the year because who in their right mind would breed purposely in January in Michigan? Nobody. Uh, and we lost him. I will tell you, um, the vet said we did not lose him because it was too cold. We had her in a stall. The stall was closed. We actually had the rest of the four. So she was in this one. The other four were in this one so that they could help with the body heat. Um, they all do when it gets really cold here too, wear blankets. Uh, that's, that's not something I'm going to go into because I know everybody has their own opinion about blankets on horses and especially donkeys. But anyways, they were wearing blankets. Um, the vet did say that her baby, um, there was like a green stuff in the, um, in the placenta, an umbilical cord, so she doesn't know if she had some kind of infection going on. He was fully formed. She must have gotten pregnant, like, in quarantine, because they quarantined before they came here, where she was in a pen with Atlas and a bunch of other donks and minis. Um, so I will tell you, it was honestly tragic. We... I, I, I really lost it. Like I, we had been so looking forward to it because it was unexpected and, you know, we were willing to have another baby, but, um, but it was really devastating in, in so many ways for us. Um, and for her, she, uh, if you've never seen an animal when they lose their, their babies, um, she she cried for him when we took him away. She didn't want us to take him. We did leave him with her for a day and she kept trying to get him to get up and it was just like it was just heartbreaking. He was born alive um and we were there when he passed and it just I think it broke all of us a little bit that day. Um so we had um his ashes. We had him cremated and then we actually planted another little sugar maple over here. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's right there that we will at some point bury his ashes under. We planted it last year and it's not doing so well. So I'd really like to make sure it's stable before I put him under it. Anyways, this is, this is basically their home. So the first time I showed you guys this space, we had just gotten this barn. Uh, they get bored in the winter and they chew the barn. So it no longer looks as good as it did in the first video of the barn. Uh, this is their main hardscape right here. And then this we put in when we got, well, we had this section when we had the horse. And then we put this here, this run in here and hardscaped when Atlas and Luna came, just in case we did end up needing to keep everybody separate forever. Uh, we wanted to make sure everybody had at least some shelter. It was spring by the time we got here, so we figured, well, we'll figure it out if they don't get along. Um, and it turned out everybody really does get along. I swear the boys do not 
they do not act like this all the time and they especially don't act like this in the evenings usually. Leo who is looks like he's about to roll. He's a mama's boy. Uh, he also does not like, I don't know, he's going to just be a little brat again. Um, he's a mama's boy. He loves his pets. He loves his cuddles. And he um, he does not like being messed with, though, by the vet, by the farrier, anything like that. Lou is very, very wondering what's going on this evening. So those are the two main spaces. Um, we put this one in late last year, and I'll walk back there and show it to you guys. I did mention it in one of our other videos. Hi, you rowdy boys. Hi, mama's boy. Hi. I gotta go show them this. I'm getting too off topic. Hi, baby. Hi. Can you show them how sweet your nose is? Oh, look at that baby nose. Look at that nose. Should we give it kisses? Mwah. I know, you're such a good boy. All right, let's go to this other space. Uh, we muck once a day, so if you're seeing any poop around, it's because we usually muck in the mornings. So we just opened this stall so that they could walk through to this back pasture here. And this is their back space. So it's pretty large. Kevin cut it last weekend, I think. We took this space back from the farmer. We actually own a bunch of stuff back there, but that's not our corn. He farms it. Um, and so we took this space back with the idea that we would be making this space for the donkeys and having it as a secondary pasture so we could close off that first one. They love this space. Uh, it is a better space too. Our property gets pretty soggy. And um, in the early spring, I'm gonna try not to make you guys sick, but that space over there gets really, really soggy. This space, however, doesn't. So this is a much, much better pasture space for them. We did um, seed this space this year with an equine seed but we've had a drought <laughs> i mentioned that in my last in my garden video that i put up a couple weeks ago we've had a drought actually all this at one point we thought was going to completely die so the fact that it looks so decent right now is pretty pretty encouraging um they get pretty much free reign of everything so they get access to this back pasture as much as they want. They are fed uh, twice a day. So they get breakfast, they get dinner, just like you would for any horse or any other equine or any other, really any other farm animal. And um, then they get access to this. So my only kind of sad part about this space is that there are no trees. So there's no natural shade out here for them which is disappointing as we take more of our property back, back here on the corn, I think we'll probably try to figure out how to best put in some trees. Uh, we don't want them to eat them, but it would obviously be nice to have a little bit of shade back here for them, especially if we do end up making this space larger, which I could see us doing in the future. I'm shocked none of them have followed me back here. It is bedtime for everybody, or it's getting to be that time. So you can see the girls 
were just, they were both in that stall. The boys were out here having some scraps that they haven't chowed through yet. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm so sorry. Hi, baby. Hi, my love. Hi. Really quickly, so Atlas actually, um, he's the oldest. The vet had put him at like 10 years old. And he actually was like the best. Oh, Leo, you made him bleed. I'm gonna have to go get something for him. He's actually the best boy. So I don't know why he ended up in the kill pen, but he is the absolute best boy. He, um, he's got swat all over his legs, which is why they're all dirty. He walks on a lead rope and he listens to commands. He doesn't like having his feet trimmed, but you know, none of them do. Um, but he is really the best boy. When he came here, he was also just attached to my side. Hi, buddy. Now he doesn't like that I mess with him and put swat all over his legs all day and fly spray him every single day. But um, he will still take the loves. Right, Atlas? Yeah. And the treats, too. You like a good treat, right? I know you do. I know. Are you coming to say hi? Are you going to come stand in front of me for the attention, Leo? Yeah. Yeah. Should we do some pets? Okay, let's do the pets. Thank you guys so much for following along today. I hope that you love learning more about our donkeys and their life and home here at the farm. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave those in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to you. As always, there'll be a full blog post up at sugarmaplefarmhouse.com where you can find out more about the donkeys. And, hi. Uh, please remember before you go to subscribe so you can follow along with everything we're doing here at the farmhouse. Thanks so much everyone, have a great night.